making double chocolate striped biscuits. They're very simple to make, but they look really impressive. So I'm going to start with 125 grams of unsalted softened butter, which will go in one bowl. And I'm going to add 100 grams of caster sugar to this. I'm going to whisk it with a hand whisk today till it's nice and creamy. You can see that the color of the mixture has changed. It's much paler and smoother now. And to this, we're gonna add one large egg and we'll add a quarter teaspoon of the vanilla extract to this, which will give it a lovely flavor. Give it a quick whisk. And then this can go into our butter mix. We'll give a quick whisk to this egg. Just enough so that it's mixed in and then we'll get rid of our mixer. To this we'll add 250 grams of self-raising flour which we'll just sieve into our mix and also a pinch of salt. Now we'll just mix it all together and make it into a soft dough. Once it's coming together nicely then I'll just use my hands to bring it together. This is a really, really soft dough. We'll chill it in the fridge for a bit. I've got the dough ready, and what I'll do is I'll just divide it into two equal portions and place it in two different bowls. So to one of the dough, we'll add 40, 45 grams of melted white chocolate, and then we'll knead it into the dough. This is our other half of the dough and we'll add 40, 45 grams of dark melted chocolate to this. And just with your hands, we'll mix it all in. It'll look really, really sticky, but give it one minute, it will come together nicely. I have got white chocolate dough and dark chocolate dough ready here. And I've got two baking sheets trays here. And I'm gonna put some cling film on each of them just big enough to cover the surface. And we will take white chocolate first because our hands are clean and we don't want the white chocolate to get dark. Just shape it into a rectangle. And what we'll do is we'll get another sheet of cling film, cover it. And what we are looking for is roughly eight by six inches rectangle finished. So I haven't got a measuring tape, but I'm just going to guess it. The dough is really soft, so don't put too much pressure on it. You can just very gently spread it out into a rectangle. So I'm just doing this so that we get roughly a rectangular shape that looks really good. And I'm just going to run this over so it becomes flat on top. Otherwise, it will have my finger marks on it. Now we'll start with our dark chocolate dough. Once again, we'll get it into a rectangular shape. Get another sheet of cling film on top, start rolling it out. What we want is to, for this to be exact or very close to the same size as the white chocolate dough. And once we've done that, we'll try and get to the corners. Just a final roll to get rid of all the fingerprints. And I think that looks really close to the white chocolate one. Now this will go in the fridge to set for half an hour. So I have got both the white chocolate and dark chocolate dough nice and set in the fridge. And now I'm just going to place the white on top of the dark. And once it's done, we're just going to neaten the four sides just so we have a nice neat rectangle. But do not waste these side cuts because we can just bake them and eat them still. Now we've got the quite neatened rectangle and what we're gonna try and do um, is divide it into three equal parts without the ruler. Or maybe you can use the ruler actually. Um, yeah, I think that seems about right. And what we'll do is, very gently, we'll pick up one of these from the side without squashing it and place it on 
top of oh that is a good good size right and we'll do the same with the other strip oh my god i cannot believe i've got three exact same size strips without a ruler you saw that i'm very pleased with it now i'm gonna wrap it up in the cling film and i'm going to put this back in the fridge for 15 minutes to set nicely Oh, and don't forget these, they go back in the fridge as well till we're ready to bake them. Now it's time to slice them into biscuits. Cut them roughly into five millimeter thin. Ah, oh, look at that, how beautiful. Here are our striped biscuits ready and you'll roughly get 30 to 32 biscuits depending on how thin you slice them. And they will go in the oven at 180C for eight to 10 minutes. Here are the double chocolate striped biscuits ready. They're a bit soft when they come out of the oven, but let them cool down completely and they'll give you a nice crisp biscuit. So simple to make, such simple flavors, but they taste amazing and they'll keep really well in an airtight box for four to five days. Hope you enjoy the recipe and give us a thumbs up if you like it and I shall see you next week.